Gary York. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I'm also a columnist for CorrectionsOne.com. And today I want to talk to you about dangerous weapons that inmates can use against us. And today's video will be about weapons that we wear on our uniforms and on our bodies every day that can be turned against us by inmates. In just a minute, I'm going to show you a video of an example of how fast a pin can be taken from your pocket and used to stab you by an inmate. My wife, who is a retired correctional officer of 35 years of service, is going to help me demonstrate that. And there's some other things I want to talk about in the video regarding breakaway ties. These ties that some of the agencies are having uh, detention deputies and state prison officers wear, they may be breakaway, but I don't like them. The inmate can grab your tie, pull it off, which distracts you just enough for them to do something else to you, or they can pull it off of you and slap you with it to distract you and then take you down. For those agencies that are fortunate enough to be allowed to wear the embroidered t-shirts with your badge embroidered on there and your BDU pants with the cargo pockets, that's what I like because you can take items such as your pins and things like that and slide them down in your cargo pants button where the inmates cannot get to them. So I'm hoping more and more agencies get away from these button shirts and ties. Many, many agencies still like to use the button shirts because they do look good, but are they the safest thing for us to wear when working in the inmate environment? I also want to talk to you later in the video about uh, some of the things that we wear on our necks. Uh, men, for you men who like to wear the big gold chains and the big silver chains, um, over your black t-shirt and then have your uniform shirt over the top but you can still see the gold chain uh, that can be used against you and it makes you can grab that either from the front or from behind and twist it and choke you out and you know workplace do we really need all this bling bling for the workplace who are we trying to impress with the bling bling uh, where uh, hopefully we're not there to impress the inmates and for you ladies who like to wear larger earrings and I believe most agencies have a policy describing the type of earring that you're supposed to wear which is very close to your ear. Uh, some of you stretch the policy a little bit. These earrings, I'll show you some pictures later in the video of what happens when an inmate grabs the earring and rips it out of your ear. I also have on a couple of occasions seen where an officer wears a nose ring. Now, what agency would allow a nose ring? I don't know, because we definitely don't allow many items for the inmates to wear. And if I see an officer coming to work with a nose ring, well, I don't know what the purpose of that's for, because we're at the workplace. If you want to wear that off duty, that's fine. But I'll show you a picture of a nose ring that's ripped out of your nose, and then you can decide if you still want to walk around inmates with a nose ring. So I'll talk to you about these things here shortly. Right now, my wife of uh, uh, 35 years of service and corrections is going to help me demonstrate how a pin can be used against you and to stab you. Thank you. All right, everyone. Now, we, we know that we don't ever allow inmates in our space. We keep our space. But as you know, inmates can be distracted and manipulative. So, and this can be done very quickly. Right now, I am not in her space, and we're talking. But this quickly, I can grab this pin. Do you see how fast that is? This is her pin from her shirt into her neck. Now, I'm not in her space at this point. So right now, she feels she's in the safe zone. So you always have to be alert and ready to defend yourself. Always be alert and ready to defend yourself. But if you're caught off guard by another inmate that wants to talk to you and you look for a second that way, it's over. It's already over. I've got the pin, see? That fast. Just like in your sharps training when an inmate comes in with an edged weapon of any type, a homemade shank or whatever, you know, the reaction zone can be many feet, they can be from 20 feet away from you and be on you in just a couple of seconds. Also, I'll get behind here. Uh, the officer could be distracted by other inmates causing a commotion over here for some reason, watching over there, grab the pin that fast, and look, it's over. 
just a quick example of how fast this tool that we use daily and we have to have can become a weapon. Don't leave this out. Keep it in your pocket. If you're allowed to have BDUs and cargo pants, keep it down there. Some agencies have said don't leave it out like this. Push it down. But some pockets are deep enough, such as this uniform style does not allow the pin to go all the way down. So keep these pins off and anything, pins, pencils, any tool that the inmate can use and grab and stab you. If you think it hasn't happened, just Google stabbings of officers uh, with pins and pencils. And uh, at my agency, we had an officer stabbed in the neck with a pencil. It happens, folks. Thank you. Okay, everyone. I hope that that demonstration just kind of gave a visual. That's all I wanted to do is make awareness. That's why I made this video. Awareness of what can happen. There's so many other uh, weapons out there that inmates can use against us. Um, they can use uh, the broom handles, the mop handles, the mops themselves. Uh, just about anything that you can physically grab a hold of can be used against you. So I just want everyone to have an awareness. Use your peripheral vision. As we say, head on a swivel and pay attention to your surroundings. It's a dangerous, dangerous environment we work in. And I'm hoping that if you see my video and you go to work tomorrow, you'll think about what we talked about in this video and, and try to every day when you walk into your job, get your mind prepared and start thinking of things that could be used against you and walk around with your peripheral vision and don't let the inmates manipulate or distract you. Back off. If it looks like they're trying to set you up for a trap, back off and call for backup. Never, ever be ashamed to call for backup. Because at the end of the day, you want to walk out of there and go home to your family safe. Now, following the ending here of my video, I'm going to show a few clips of injuries that have occurred to correctional officer staff. God bless all of you. Thank you for your service. And please stay safe and go home at night to your families and friends. Thank you.